Hi guys, in this video, I will show you how you can add FL Studio plugins without even opening the FL Studio application. So I have a video on how you can install a uh, new VSC plugins, but um, as a quick reminder, normally inside FL Studio, you will go to options, click on um, manage plugins. This will show up and then, um, you know, you just proceed and um, make use of that, of that section here. So here I want to install Silent One, the Silent One VSC plugin. And you can see this folder here is grayed out. So what I want to do normally is click here, enable this check mark, and then perform a scan. And then at that point, it's going to add it. So first, let me confirm if I type Silent One here, there is nothing. So it's, it's not installed yet. And um, you can't find it anywhere here either. So Control F, Silent One, it doesn't, um, it shouldn't return anything, right? It keeps searching and nothing got returned. So you first need to open your file explorer, Windows Explorer, go to your C drive. And like we did it in previous videos, uh, you're going to access the shared folder inside of FL Studio. So go to program files, x86, scroll down, look at image line. Um, image line is here. Click on the shared folder here. Go to the start folder then uh, locate FL Studio 20 here. Now, inside of FL Studio, you have a few options. I believe I have covered um, this one, Reset Settings, in the video that just went up last night. So uh, make sure you check it out on my channel. But here we want to look at Plugin Manager here. And again, it's a shortcut. So um, in order not to cheat, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to close FL Studio here. So you can see it is now closed. And now I can click on Plugin Manager. And you can see it still opens. Meanwhile, there is no FL Studio instance running right now. So what I can do is click on this check mark. Now you can see the Steinberg folder is enabled. And I'm probably going to link uh, one of my articles um, to show you how you can also enable um, this folder here. But anyway, what I'm going to do here, I have these two options scanned. I'm going to click on Find Plugins. In previous versions of FL Studio, I believe this button um, read uh, Scan. It has Scan written on it, not Find Plugins. But this is FL Studio 20.1.2, I believe. So now we are performing the scan. Uh, we should see a couple of plugins appearing here uh, one by one. It is scanning. All right, so now it's done. Let me type Silent One here. There it is. So I'm going to open FL Studio now. Click on this one here. And now there we have it, FL Studio. So I can go here, Control F. I type silent. I don't even have to type the full thing. And it takes me to um, uh, the search results, which is actually the directory of uh, plugin. So you can see it falls under new because I just performed a scan. But this is silent one right here. So now I can drag this right here. And there we have it. This is Silent One. So um, it just got installed. I can proceed, uh, use it, etc. Um, now, the, the benefits why you, I believe you should use um, the option of running the plugin manager without even running FL Studio is because FL Studio can be a heavy application. It's very resource intensive. So it can send your CPU through the roof and uh, consume a lot of RAM as well, and memory. So you want to make sure that you can do as much as you can without having to put pressure on your battery, especially if you're running out of battery power, for instance. You can just access the plugin manager, um, install or uninstall. Um, in that case, you would just uncheck here and perform another scan. But uh, if you want to install or uninstall plugins, you can just go ahead uh, without opening the application. And this saves your battery power, your RAM, and your CPU, etc. You can do it whilst you're doing something else as well. So I hope this video helped you. If it did, please subscribe. Give it a big thumbs up. Um, make sure you share it and drop your comments in the uh, comment section below. And I will read all of them and reply to you if I need to. In the meantime, I hope you guys uh, take care of yourself. I will catch you in the next video. Bye.